Hey, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about perfectionism in the art community and how being a perfectionist is slowly discouraging a lot of artists from expressing themselves and sharing their art. So I found this video on TikTok which is just supposed to show how artists just love being artists but then in actuality they get overwhelmed by so many different feelings and insecurities and this resonated with me so much and I just couldn't stop thinking about how literally everything they said in the video is true. I think perfectionism in art can be explained in a lot of different ways from artist to artist. But from my experience as a person who's struggling with overcoming perfectionism, most artists share similar experiences when it comes to just how perfectionism affects our art. I scrolled through TikTok and watched quite a number of videos from different amazing artists and regardless of where they were in their careers or their skill level, they were all basically saying the same thing when they shared their thoughts or were talking about how they were dealing with perfectionism. I like to think of perfectionism as the idea of chasing a drawing without flaws where everything is pretty much rendered correctly with accurate proportions and color but then never ever reaching this goal because it keeps on shifting farther away from you the closer you get to accomplishing it. I, I just can't properly explain it, it's, it's a feeling but there are some clear signs I have noticed about being a perfectionist. You criticize yourself more than everyone else. You obsess over little details. You get stuck when you fail. You plan everything but barely start anything. You never feel fulfilled even after meeting your goals. If this happens to describe you or anyone else you know, then I'm sorry to tell you but it seems to me like you're a perfectionist yourself. Now I know there's some grey areas where these traits might be found in some artists who may or may not be perfectionists themselves but I just try to sum up all the little habits I have noticed from my artist friends and a little bit from myself which I think will be telltale signs of people experiencing perfectionism. Please feel free to explain what being a perfectionist means to you because I'm sure I'm not the only one who has been suffering this silently. Artists who experience perfectionism usually usually feel like anything they draw or create never feels good enough to them no matter how hard they try. You're always stuck in an endless loophole of trying to make a drawing that you're proud of without it necessarily being the best drawing you have ever made but at least just being able to make a drawing that meets the expectations you have set for your art within the limits you have unconsciously created for yourself based off of how well you can draw or how good your art is. This constant self-evaluation and being judgmental and hard on yourself indirectly leads you into a downward spiral of depression and anxiety every single time you want to start a new drawing and sometimes you just end up not even finishing your drawings because every time you just take a look at your drawing you immediately convince yourself that it isn't good enough so what's the point of finishing it i found this video on tiktok that explained perfectionism in a way that i feel every artist should be able to relate to perfectionism is actually a defense mechanism that says to us hey if you look perfect do perfect and accomplish perfect you can avoid or minimize shame and judgment and blame so perfectionism is not about striving for excellence or being our best selves it's how we self-protect so have you ever gotten that feeling when you're gonna start something and you're like oh god this has got to be perfect so I think the question to ask is what am I afraid of there's a great Aristotle quote if you don't want to be criticized do nothing say nothing be nothing most of us choose not to live that way no one can contribute what you can contribute but you I can't explain how much I love the video and just how she explained perfectionism was perfect. So we're going to use the video I showed in the beginning from this amazing artist on TikTok as talking points and the reason why I want to talk about it is because it resonated with me so much and judging from the number of comments on the video and all the replies other artists were leaving under them, it seems a lot of people resonated with it as well. So go show the artists some love and follow them on TikTok as well. The first problem people who experience perfectionism go through is not feeling good enough. I feel like every artist I know feels this way. No matter 
matter how good your art looks to other people, deep down we always tell ourselves we're not good enough. And I think as artists we always tell ourselves this because it keeps us grounded and helps us try to see areas in our work where we could improve on even when we think we're getting better. Every single time I make a drawing and finish it, after the first few minutes of looking at it and smiling to myself wondering how I was able to even draw as good as this, the next minute I'm already looking at the drawing in total disgust and religiously hating everything I've drawn in my entire life. Now while this may be a good thing since it subconsciously makes us want to improve our art, it also doesn't allow us to appreciate our art and the progress we've made so far, which is pretty important especially for artists who are far too critical and judgmental about their work. The next problem is being jealous of other artists. Now this isn't something I experienced personally while developing my art, but I know for a fact that sometimes artists could just be jealous of other artists but not like in a bad way or anything like that and it's honestly just as a result of comparing your art to another artist all the time. Comparing your art to other artists is a good way to track your progress and set certain expectations for yourself and your art. But doing it too often or even all the time can end up making you hate your own work and slowly become envious of other artists without even knowing it. You just start acting salty every time you see their work and it's not even your fault. You've just been comparing your art with them for too long and you can't even help it at this point. I found this artist on TikTok that spoke about this and shared their progress from where they started out to where they are now and I just loved the message they shared in the video. Hi, it's my birthday and there's something I want to show you. This was one of the best drawings I could do when I was a kid. I love drawing people's faces and I love drawing Star Wars and this was one of the best drawings I could do after I'd been in art school for a few years. And this is what I can do now. And stuff like this and this. What I'm saying is, I value them all equally. I have a higher skill level now, but there's good things about those first drawings that will never change and will always be there. So to anyone who's comparing yourself to another artist, or you're like, oh my god, I'm not good enough, or you know, you're embarrassed about your past work, don't be. Don't compare yourself to other people. Know that what you created has value, and it represents you at a very special time in your life, and it's completely unique. And more importantly, it's yours. So love it and cherish it. And there's no reason you can't value something with a higher skill level and still love what you've created because it's special and nothing can change that. Now, before we move on to the next part of this video, let me tell you briefly about the sponsor of today's video. Miller Note. As an artist working on multiple projects at the same time and downloading different references and choosing different pictures for inspiration, it begins to get overwhelming to keep track of all your references and files, especially when they're not neatly organized in one place, which is precisely where Miller Note comes in. Miller Note is an interactive tool that helps you organize all the different files for your creative projects on one platform so accessing them can be easier. You can collect pictures, videos, notes and text and rearrange them into different boards using any of the templates that suit your needs. You can also create tasks to keep yourself disciplined and hold yourself accountable if you start procrastinating instead of finishing a project. Using Milanote to keep your projects organized is pretty easy so here's basically how I do it. I like to start by creating a general board where I lay out a broad overview that covers everything concerning the project I'm about to work on. Then I move on to place my references in a subboard and my color and lighting cues in a separate board so I know where to find each of them. I like to use Miller Notes Web Clipper tool when gathering screenshots from other artists I admire that have interesting lighting and color in their work. And then I save every image or screenshot I find useful in the board. Next I make a to-do list with all the tasks I need to accomplish and finalize the board with a description of the project, just in case I forget. And this works exceptionally well when you're collaborating with other artists working on the same project. Project, so everyone has a good understanding of what the project is about and has access to the same references all at once since everything is properly organized in the same place. The kind folks at Milanote are given free access with no time limit to everyone who signs up for a free account using the link in the description. So head over to milanote.com slash Mohammed Akbadi 0224 to try it out for free with no time limit. All the links will be in the description and a big thank you to Milanote for sponsoring this video. The next problem is being too hard on yourself. Wow. I don't think I've ever been called out this much in a single video like this in my entire life. If there's one thing I know how to do pretty well, aside from drawing male characters in questionable poses on the internet for my starving subscribers to leave comments like caked up with the peach emoji, is being pretty hard on myself. 
because I'm literally so hard on myself for the most simple things possible and it's so annoying. I'm always constantly thinking I could do better or I didn't do enough no matter what it is I'm doing. And when it comes to art, I'm my own biggest critique and least supporter. I'm constantly looking for faults in my work and being so hard on myself all the time. And I'm sure a lot of you are hard on yourselves too, especially when it comes to how much progress you're seeing in your work. It's normal to forget each artist learns in a different way than the next artist and sometimes some artists just tend to improve faster than others and that's fine too everyone's pace is different so be patient with yourself i went through the comments on the video and i found a lot of artists expressing how they feel about their art and for some reason i think most artists have tendencies of becoming perfectionists just because of how many artists were relating to the video and saying it resonated with them i try so hard not to get jealous of other artists but when their art is so drop dead amazing i start wondering if i'll ever be that good i think it's normal to feel this way when you see people with really good art but instead of letting it put you down allow it to inspire you and remember everyone is on a different journey so focus on yourself king you're doing great I love art so much but every time I do it I hate what I've made and I just cry because I'm never going to be good enough oh my poor little thing please don't cry anymore you're doing great you're making amazing progress and you're doing just fine just make sure you're practicing art consistently it doesn't have to be every day but try to find a schedule that works for you and consistently practice the fundamentals of art draw things you naturally derive pleasure from and always try to improve something in the next drawing I want to quit drawing because seeing younger artists make good art makes me jealous of their art. Now I've seen comments like this in the past especially on a video I made one time of a 13 year old kid who had really amazing drawing and it made me realize that some artists are conscious of their age in respect to how good their art looks so they feel ashamed of their work when they see an artist younger than them making drawings far better than what they were making at that age but what most people fail to consider every time they start to feel like this is that for some of us that started drawing years ago we didn't have access to as many tutorials or technical resources that kids who are starting drawing now have access to nowadays there's so many different options to learn from and tutorials literally everywhere for anything you want to draw or paint so it just makes sense for young artists who are dedicated to drawing to experience growth at a much faster rate than artists who started out years ago with little to no access to solid tutorials they can learn from online. So don't be too hard on yourself. Anyone can learn art at any age and be good at it as long as you put in enough time to practice. A lot of the other comments were artists just acknowledging everything the video said and the message at the end. And to be fair with you, I think a lot of artists on TikTok are suffering from perfect is more than you can imagine because the tiktok art community has become such a mess where artists are scared of posting their art because for the most part all they receive in the end is just unnecessary hate and bullying if their art does not meet up to the unrealistic standard of art that people on tiktok superimposed on every artist who wants to share their art on the app and this unrealistic expectation for every young artist or beginner artist to automatically post their first drawing which happens to be the best drawing they have ever made in turn slowly makes them become perfectionists just because they're trying to please people who really do not care about you or your art journey and are just there to while away time and annoy people with their opinions. I think perfectionism is not a habit artists could totally force quit but there are ways you could gradually help yourself improve on it and slowly overcome your underlying perfectionist. One, build a habit of consistency. The one thing that discourages a lot of artists from actually starting a drawing or getting anything done is their constant fear of committing to something. Building a habit of consistency will not only help you become disciplined but it will help you get comfortable with making something even if it sucks. Which is why PewDiePie was able to make progress with his art in such a short amount of time. 2. Quantity over quality at least for now. The idea that you have to make a perfect drawing every time is what forces a lot of artists into becoming perfectionists. Every single time I try to start a new drawing or an image, 
before I even draw the first line, I have already subconsciously scared myself anxious because I'm just constantly thinking of not making a mistake while starting and I'm just trying to make the drawing better than my last. I notice a lot of other artists on TikTok leaving comments and sharing their experiences saying they also feel pressured every time they have to start a new drawing or whenever they just have to continue a drawing they already began but got stuck because they couldn't find a way to finish it or were too afraid to finish the drawing just because they're not confident with how it will end up looking because something just doesn't feel right in the drawing. This feeling or habit causes me to procrastinate all the time and instead of sitting down and actually drawing, I end up not doing anything at all just because I'm scared of messing up something I haven't even started. And for the most part, I think it's really impractical. You're going to have bad days where you don't feel inspired and don't even feel like drawing anything at all. And some days the drawings just don't look as good as they used to and that's totally fine. Another thing I've caught myself doing subconsciously is trying to change my art style or trying to start a new drawing with a new technique I learned after watching an art tutorial or seeing another artist share their drawing process. And I don't even know why I do this for some reason but it just feels comfortable drawing in another art style when you're not so confident of what you want to draw or you just feel pressured to start something new. Once you build a habit of consistency and you're comfortable with drawing a little bit every other day, try to make as many small drawings or sketches as you can instead of focusing on making one big piece over the course of a week. Doing this will help you overcome the fear of starting and once you're comfortable enough, you can start focusing on quality as well. Three. Set realistic goals and expectations for yourself. I think this is the one a lot of artists and not just on TikTok need on this list. Stop comparing your work with every single artist you see on the internet. You're not trying to get better than them so stop making them your competition. Your goal is to become a better artist than you were yesterday. So set a timeline for yourself to improve that is realistic enough for you to achieve. Don't rush yourself and be patient with your progress. Slow progress is better than no progress. I also found this video on TikTok that shares some more habits you could practice that could help you overcome your perfectionism. Love this question. Here's my success formula as a recovering perfectionist. I want you to know that perfectionism is something that you do, not something that you are. It's not your identity, it's just a habit. And we can change our habits and actually change our lives this way. So number one, you need a pattern interrupt. Every time perfectionism wants to take over, catch yourself. So for me, perfectionism shows an anxiety and the mindset doubt spiral of, is this idea good enough? Is there another way? Is this actually the best way that I can approach my goals? And I just found myself so paralyzed by all these questions. So we need to change your state. And I do that, I use this anxiety because it's energy, it's also a form of energy to get into my body. So what I do is to do push-ups. And while doing it, I visualize myself that the anxiety just, I pressure it into the earth and it's just out of my body. Uh, what you can do if you don't like push-ups is actually just stretching, stand up and release. Imagine that you just release everything that is not serving you right now. And then number two, when you change your state and you are more energized this way, I want you to focus on the very next actionable step. What is the one thing that you can do right now that has the most impact? For me, I'm a creator. Uh, the video that is out there, I help people live their best life. So the video that is posted will have more impact than the idea on my notes app. Repeat step one and two, and this is how you master the skill, get better at it and see results. I know there are no direct rules for overcoming perfectionism, but personally, these are the little habits that I practice daily that have helped me along the way to slowly become a not so perfectionist artist. You can try them out for yourself and gradually add them into your daily routine so they can become habits. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video and learned something from it, please leave it a like and share it with a friend who's also a perfectionist. And with all that being said, I'll see all you pretty penguins in the next video. Bye. Thank you.